Oh, most gracious and holy Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for today. Lord, we thank you, Father, for each and every one that is listening to me under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, move by your spirit on today's broadcast. Touch the lives of the listeners. Touch the lives of the co-hosts, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father, for each and every uh, person who's listening to me, Father, on today. Lord, thank you, Father, for this empowerment, this road to empowerment week on the RH3 show. Lord, bless the listeners. Bless the ladies. Bless the women. Father, bless the young girls, bless the teenage women. And Lord, bless the teenage ladies. Father, Lord, we thank you, Father, for each and every one who is uh, uh, taking notes, Father, and, and, and striving to be empowered and want to be empowered. And Lord, we just thank you, Father, for each step that they would take to be empowered on this week, Father. And Lord, we just thank you, Father, for the uh, young men, the young uh, teenage boys, the men the grown men, the seniors, the seasoned uh, men who will help them do that and who will take the initiative to, to, to push them and to even if they are in the fault and in the wrong to help change and do better in, um, you know, in whatever they, uh, uh, are, are, uh, you know, taking part in. Lord, we just thank you, Father, for a total overall change. Lord, we lift your name on high and glorify and magnify your name. Lord, cause we just thank you, Father, that you'll continue to raise up somebody somewhere to use their power, their ability, and their influence to help us mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially, Lord, we just thank you, Father, for the RH3 show. Continue to bless it. Lord, continue to let it be a beacon of light to those who come upon it, be it if on live radio, Lord, and be it on a podcast platform. Lord, we just thank you and we glory and magnify your name because it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Y'all, it's time for another all new broadcast of the RH3 show. Let's go ahead and get it and let's, you know, head. You know, you, you know, head. Ha ha ha. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and roll. Tape track. Do it, y'all. Come on. Live from North Carolina, it's the RH3 show. I've been down. I've been counted out. I've been overlooked. Look, I do no, I do this for nobody but my cause. <laughs> my cause. God first. Didn't my cause. I give it to you real raw, straight to the point, all from a Christian male perspective. <laughs> the RH3 show starts right now. Listen, y'all. Y'all already know I don't very seldom do this. I used to do it uh, uh, <laughs> in the fourth season, but I brought my lunch with me, and I'm having some um, chicken tenders that I made at home. Well, I didn't make it. Tyson Foods made it, and no, Tyson is not being sponsored. I'm not being sponsored by anybody, but if you want to sponsor the Arts 3 Show, go to thearch3show.com. But I'm eating my lunch and I'm having some Tyson chicken uh, uh, tenders and some Chick-fil-A sauce that I've gotten from Walmart. And um, I'm sitting here eating my lunch. And so, hey, y'all join me for lunch, but join me for a kitchen table talk after this song, all right? Come on here. Come on, y'all. Do this. Let's rock it out. Let's have a thankful Tuesday, a terrific Tuesday. And let's do this, y'all. We're going to have another great day, y'all. We got a jam-packed show on today. We're going to do the second part of the um, self-love simplified on our road to empowerment week. Y'all, um, <laughs> my stomach is growling. I told y'all, listen, when it talks, it talks. And so it's talking. And uh, <laughs> it's been a bit... Let me go. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. i be back with more of the RH3 show. And nigga, my phone ringing. All right, I'll be back with y'all.
chill. Let's have a conversation. It's time for our kitchen table talk. Y'all, I meant to tell y'all, I meant to apologize to you all on yesterday, but because I told y'all on Friday that Sunday, um, on the calendar that I saw was supposed to be brother and sister day. And so how about I forgot to call my siblings. I forgot to call my siblings and, um, get them on air. So how about I'm about to, uh, do that for my siblings. I, um, yeah, let me see if I can reach my older sister, uh, Lisa, on the line. Just a little um, transparency for a minute. Hold on one second. Hold on one second for a minute. Let me see if I can get her on the line here. Leave your message for two. two. Hello, what's up? Was you sleep? Uh-uh. Oh, nothing. I got you on air. <laughs> you got to work? You got me on live air? Um, yes. <laughs> no, I'm at the emergency room. Oh, you okay? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, no, I just wanted to, um, wanted my radio people to speak to you, but I didn't know you, you, uh, you there for yourself? Yes, I'm here for myself. I haven't been able to keep my food down since I came into some medicine. Okay, okay, well, I had to call to check on you. I got up early this morning and went to work at 4 o'clock, so I could come and see what was wrong with me. Okay, okay. I guess if I'm on live, I may as well tell everybody, hey, out there in the world, (laughs) y'all go get vaccinated so we can get back to normal. They pushing it. They pushing it. And so, I love you. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, baby. All right. I'll talk to you later, sweetheart. Uh Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Let's go ahead and see if we can call my other sister, uh, Shonda. Um, yeah, let's see if we can call them. What you doing? You know, I'm sitting on the bed and you don't lay down. Oh, well, I got you on radio. Oh, okay. Tell them, hey. Hey, radio people. Is that how you talk to them? You're supposed to tell them, hey, how y'all doing? Hi. Well, are these three show contestants and co-hosts, listeners. listeners, co-hosts, listeners, friends, families? How are you guys doing this evening? Well, actually, it's in the afternoon. We it's it's Tuesday, and so I'm individualizing them. But this is my sister Shonda. And so Hello. Sunday was supposed to be in brother and sister day was well, in the, on the calendar. And I told y'all we were going to have them on here Monday. What it do? Good thing I asked the phone. Why? Because one of the babies would have had the phone. You know me. Where's Alan? I don't know. Where's Kaden at? Right here. Put Kaden on the phone. Hi, Kaden. Hi. You on the radio? Uh-huh. What was she say? You supposed to say hello, uh, Uncle Red co-host. Hello, Uncle Red co-host. Say, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Tell, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. No, you introduce yourself. Tell them who you are and and, and who you are to me. Uh, my name is Kayla Watch. 
<laughs> Where's your mommy? Sleep. Where's your br- uh, and you didn't tell him that you got a brother? <laughs> okay. I do have. A tell him about your brother. Well, he's back up now. Huh? Well, he, he he still can walk and he can stand up and then climb on the bed. We'll climb on something. <gasps> Tell him how old you are. Seven. You're seven. And tell him how old your brother is. One. Cason Watts. His name is Cason Watts. Tell him what's your, um, I about to call her bad, her bad, but she's not bad. She's a blessed little girl. Tell him what your cousin name is. Harmony. Where's Harmony? Sleep with her mama. Sleep with her mama. Okay. Well, give back the phone to your mama, okay? I love you. Doing bad stuff to me. Who, Harmony? Yeah. <laughs> Tell Harmony, don't do bad stuff to you, okay? She, she always, she always calls stuff and... She can't do that, okay? Okay. All right, tell her Uncle Red gonna get her. Okay. All right, I love you. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hello. Alrighty. So you ain't got nothing else to say to the people? Um, thank y'all for listening to Uncle Rufus. My brother Red is if you're in the surrounding South Carolina areas, you can hit me up. I'll braid your hair. I'll crochet some crochet items if you need me to. That'll be great. And even so, even if you're not, you can still hit her up. Tell them your um your Facebook. Shonda Watts Rivers yep. on Facebook, and I do travel for a fee. Um, uh, yeah, she travel and hey, just hit her up, and you know they like to friend you. And my co-hosts, they, 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 they the beehive, not really the beehive, but they, they go in and support. Yeah, so just hit me up, Shonda Watts Rivers on Facebook. And, and they, they love to support and 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 be fringe and all of that. And so we're gonna take a quick commercial break and be back with more of the RH Three Show. I right? talk to you all later. See you in a few. Sometimes you get a pre-show, sometimes you get an after-show, but you do get behind the scenes of the RH3 show, and sometimes I may give you transparency and let you follow me. I am a personal life. Follow me on Instagram at the RH3 show. I check my stories out. Check my page out. Follow me today. It's a road to Empowerment Week on the RH3 Show. The RH3 Show is all new. Yes, we're going to show love to the ladies. We're going to help them feel empowered this week on the RH3 Show. Join us as we break down each day of empowerment to our ladies, to the other half of our co-hosts. This week on the RH3 Show, each day we're going to give an encouragement and an empowered topic for our ladies during our Real Talk with Ruth discussion you don't want to miss it fellas let's help us do that all right the rh3 show for more about the broadcast and info on how to listen or watch from where you are please visit the rh3show.com put mr rivers on the phone hello what's going on doc I don't know, Please don't cuss, because I got you on radio. Radio! Huh? Why did you do that? Because, um... I ain't in a state of mind right now. Well, you're going to have to be. You're going to have to be, because... 
I've been meaning to do this for the past few days, and I told them the other day that um um that since Sunday was brother and sister day, then I was gonna do it Monday. I ain't even do it Monday, and um so I'm doing it today, which is Tuesday. And okay. So, so y'all y'all talking to my brother in law, radio listeners and family. So talk to the people, Alan. Hello, how you doing? What you want me to say, brother? Huh? You just you so that gone country and 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 and, and short with them. Oh, I mean, I, mean, well, I mean, I just want you. I just want. I just want them to meet the people. I don't. I mean, huh? well, I, I'm Alan Rivers, um, married to Rashonda Watts Rivers. I became Red and Jamie and Lisa brother in law and Miss Deborah's son in law. Damn. 2007. Could. I ain't mean it like that, but you know. <laughs> well, y'all, listen, that's all I wanted. I just want y'all to. to, to Look, I told y'all I just get transparent sometimes. And so. Um, you know, hey, this season I said we're going to show real life, show real love, and have real conversation, and this is all a part of it. And, uh, well, yeah. I wish you to let me know ahead of time that I was going to uh, be on the radio. I would talk, you know. I mean, hey, you, you know how it is. I mean, you know how it is. I mean, look, it's just real raw, straight to the point, even with me. So there's no fake in the fun. No, I'm taking the phone. And so, if this is if, if 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 you know how it gets down, you know this is it. So, I mean, there's no faking the funk. I mean, point yeah. blank, period. Yep, sure. So, but anyway, glad they heard your voice. They glad they met Alan. And so that's that's my sister's uh, husband. You know, hey. Yes. We appreciate you hopping on here and let him let him talk to you. Oh yeah, appreciate. It. Thank y'all for um, giving me the time. All right, we gonna talk to y'all in just a minute. Be back with uh, Inside Scoop with Rufus. I right, talk to y'all in a minute. Uncle Red. Yes, sir. Let me have another chance. Okay, you can have another chance. W- what you want to oh. talk? Hello, everyone. My name is Kay Watts. I always play my game. Name Mortal Kombat 11. Mm-hmm. And then it was my favorite game in the whole world. And then it did, and then I watch movies of it and it and do fatality. That's great. And I'm glad you like your game. Put Papa on the phone real quick. I'm right here. Go ahead. Um, do you want to say something to your wife for Mother's Day? Because this is an imp- look for no for real though. To be honest with you, this whole week on the RH Three show, we got a theme week, and this a road to empowerment week. And so, us men and us fellas is trying to um 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 show um and trying to encourage the ladies um to get them empowered or whatever. And so, you want to say some words to your wife this week? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, do that. Well, I might have said that on the video, but um, I love you. Yeah. You're a wonderful wife, that beautiful mother. Also, grandmother. So, you know, I know your kids love it. Grandkids love it. I love it. And your brothers and sisters do too. But you're doing a good job. And keep up the good work. <laughs> See, <You're here>, <laughs> yeah, Kaden is their first grandson, and so, hey, fellas, yep. he set, he 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 set an example, and so we'll be back with uh, Nina Taylor with this week in gospel news, and we'll continue on with our real talk with Red discussion with part two of uh, self love simplified. I right? peace. I right, peace. <laughs> Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show into all the apps that people like to listen to? And how do I make money from my podcast? 
The answer to every one of these questions is so very easy and simple. It is Anchor, y'all. It's Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it is 100% and ridiculously easy to use. Most of all, it is free. And now, y'all, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad here. I use Anchor for my radio broadcast as another branch to advertise and promote my episodes and my show that stems right from YouTube. And what I like about Anchor is that it distributes all to many platforms as well as it has an in-depth statistics to where you can see how your podcast is doing. That's cool, right? I love it. So if you always wanted to start your podcast and make money doing it, please go to anchor.fm forward slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters who are already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm forward slash start. My name is Red and I'm the host of the RH3 show. I cannot wait to hear your podcast. Got to catch up on the news regarding politics, or if you want to know news about the TV, movies, sports, and or the music industry, be it if it's in gospel or any other entertainment genre, well, it is time for the Inside Scoop of the Rufus, right here on the RH3 Show. Hi everybody, I'm Nina Taylor and here is your Gospel News. Born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland, worship leader, producer, multi-instrumentalist, and soulful contemporary singer, songwriter, pastor, Jason Nelson. He released his debut album, I Shall Live, in 2005, the self-released Brand New Day in 2006, and was followed by 2008's Place of Worship, a deal with the popular gospel label Verity a division of Sony, known for his albums Shifting the Atmosphere and Jesus Revealed, both of which charted in the Billboard Top 200, he became pastor of the Greater Bethlehem Temple Church in 2007. His father was the reverend of the Greater Bethlehem Temple Church from 1977 to 2007. He's also a songwriter and contributed to some of the songs on Marvin Sapp's album Thirsty. Deborah Joy Winans, stage and screen actress, most well known for bringing to life the character Charity Greenleaf Satterley on the OWN Network series Greenleaf. She's also been playing her aunt Cece Winans in the Lifetime biopic Whitney. Before fame, she was earning her BFA from Wayne State University. She would later complete her MFA in acting at California Institute of the Arts. She made her stage debut in the musical Born for This, the B.B. Winans story. Her parents are Carvin and Deborah Carr Winans. In Greenleaf, she stars opposite Merle Dandridge, Desiree Ross, and Lehman Rucker. This May, we salute African-American authors and their contributions to American literature. This week, pioneering African-American writer Richard Wright. He's best known for the classic text, Black Boy and Native Son. Who was Richard Wright? He was an African-American writer and poet who published his first short story at the age of 16. Later, he found employment with the Federal Writers Project and received critical acclaim for his writing Uncle Tom's Children, a collection of four stories. He's well known for his 1940 bestseller, Native Son, and 1945, the autobiography, Black Boy. Richard Nathaniel Wright was born September 4, 1908, in Roxy, Mississippi, the grandson of slaves and the son of a sharecropper. Wright was raised by his mother. He was schooled in Jackson, Mississippi, and managed to get a ninth grade education. But he was an avid reader and showed early on that he had a way with words. 
when he was 16, a short story of his was published in a Southern African American newspaper. After leaving school, Wright worked a series of odd jobs, and in his free time, he delved into American literature. To pursue his literary interests, he longed to see it make a permanent break from the Jim Crow South. In 1927, Wright finally left the South and moved to Chicago, where he worked for the post office and swept streets. Like so many Americans struggling through the Depression, Wright fell prey to bouts of poverty. Along the way, his frustration with American capitalism led him to join the Communist Party in 1932. When he could, Wright continued to plow through books and write. He eventually joined the Federal Writers Project in 1937. With dreams of making it as a writer, he moved to New York City, where he was told he stood a better chance of getting published. More acclaim for Richard Wright followed in 1940 with the publication of the novel Native Son, which told the story of a 20-year-old African-American man named Bigger Thomas. This book brought Wright fame and freedom to write. It was a regular atop the bestseller list and became became the first book by an African-American writer to be selected by the Book of the Month Club. A stage version, written by Wright and Paul Green, followed in 1941, and Wright later played the title role in the film version made in Argentina. Here's this week's Top 10 Gospel Songs. Number 10, Byron Poppin featuring Tasha with Beautiful Savior. Number 9, Brian Courtney Wilson, Steel. 8, Corinne Hawthorne, Speak to Me. 7, Travis Green featuring Doe, Good and Loved. 6, Pastor Mike Jr., I Got It. 5, The Clark Sisters featuring Snoop Dogg, His Love. 4, Tasha Cobbs Leonard, In Spite of Me. 3, CC Winans, Never Lost. 2, Jokia, Yahweh. And our new number one song for this week, comes from Ohio's own Mia Allen with Wait. Well, that's your top 10 gospel songs, our tribute to African-American writers, and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor, reminding you to connect with me on all social media outlets. You can find all my outlets on my website at msninataylor.com. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. I'm going to call... um my brother-in-law, my other brother-in-law, and probably my other great nephews later uh, during the week and try to get them on the phone and speak to them a little later um, so they can, you know, have some airtime as well and try to get my brother on as well. But um, keep it, we all got it. More of the RS3 show is coming up next. All right. All right. <laughs> Want to connect with me and go beyond the broadcast? Do so by following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Arts 3 Show. You can also watch us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. That's youtube.com forward slash I R E P A S A V I O R. Follow me on social media. Hi, it's The Arts 3 Show. Connect the RH3 show. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3show.com. This is real life. We show real love and we also have real conversations, all from a Christian male perspective. It's the Real Talk with Rufus right here on the RH3 show. Oh, that was good. That was good. Had have gotten both of my sisters on there, and my brother he don't answer his phone. So hey, it is what it is, people. So let's continue to move on. Let's continue to move on with um our topical discussion on today. As y'all know, on yesterday we talked about um we started our um. We start our road to recovery, um, our road to recovery um, week here on the RH3 show, our road to recovery week. And uh, we started with the first part of our road to recovery week, which is self-love simplified. And we talked about a few things. We talked about seven, um, seven things, seven steps to 
Um, Self-love simplified. Check in with yourself and your feelings. Ask yourself what you need and allow yourself to receive it. Make time to do something that makes you happy every day, no matter how simple or small it is. Let yourself dream big. Stand up for yourself um, like you stand up for others. Encourage yourself to face your fears you can do hard things and don't put expectations on yourself that you wouldn't uh put on um on others and so we have uh five more that we're going to touch on on today and uh we're going to talk about those and so i hope you all have been inspired on uh today you know, we just been conversing on today, showing real life today. Real life was shown today. And I told y'all, real life, real love, real conversations. This whole season and and um um you know, just a little insight. I, I and, and I'll say this much and I'll move on, a little segue. Um uh prior to this season and maybe prior to the fourth season i always been the uh, uh well for the radio part been a little hermit crab and 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 um not showing um you know not letting you know y'all not really y'all y'all but um social media and um like youtube and instagram and facebook into my life and so now i do but I do it at a limit and at, you know, whatever. And so, um, being that, you know, for like holidays and, um, you know, calendar, um, national holidays and holidays that is on the count cal- on the calendar, like brother and sister day or family day, I'm going to try to support that and try to bring in family or whatever to, um, to, um, you know, lighten that and some days I will some days I won't and so because I know you know I try to keep that you know to to myself and try to keep my family and you know everybody to myself and so I'm gonna do that and uh uh yeah um move on we're gonna move right along on today and so, like I said, self-love simplified part two. So the number, uh, what number we are on? We are on number eight. Number eight, focus on things you like about yourself rather than things that you dislike. Um, this can be a, yeah. I about to say this can be a two part and it and it is a two parter. Reason being is because a lot of people and a lot of ladies. Um, oh, by the way, of course, it's going to be a two part because I said I was going to encourage some men and push some men. Men is already plural. Uh, encourage and push the men um, as well. So yeah. Um, going back to the ladies, a lot of women. Um, a two parter. You know you. Uh, some things that you don't like about yourself, you dislike about yourself, um, you know, you let that go into your head. Well, some of that, from what I've seen and heard through people and seen and heard um, or talked about or asked through me, some of that is built on and some of that is birthed through what other people have told you or what other people have said to you or blase this that and the third or you know whatever all of that is based off or was based off of what people have said you know to you or whatever and you go off of them and you go off of your conversation through them or what people have told you and so what I say to you, focus on the things that you like about yourself rather than things that you dislike or rather than the things that people dislike, you know, focus on the things that you like. And even so, even those those little small um, imperfections about yourself, turn those into positive. Like, I mean, and, 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 and when I say that, and I told my um, best friend that, and this is, this is way separate than what the topic is and what I'm bringing up. Uh, 
every time I think of a song, I mean, every time I think of a word or a particular word, some, sometimes a song come in my head. And so, but like little Kim said, turn a negative into a positive and it's all good. Yeah. So turn a negative into a positive and let it be all good. Turn a negative into a positive and let it be all good. Huh? Turn a negative into a positive and let it be all good. What you trying to say? I mean, let people say, look, look, like Patrice said, I know I look good. I know, you know, Blasey, this, that, and the third. Come on. Um, um, you know, and, and if you are, you know, a person that do have various imperfections, love on it, love on them imperfections, find, you know, Find that deep rooted, the deep seated area in yourself to, you know, say, okay, you know, you, okay, I like this about me. Okay, I do look good. Okay, da 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 da. Okay, this, that, and the third. Start loving on you and loving on yourself and rather than stuff that you dislike. Find things that you like about yourself. Rather than things that you dislike. I. Number nine. Celebrate. Yourself. And your growth. At every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. And I'm going to tell y'all about myself. In this particular. um, Number nine. in, In this particular moment. Because um, people will try to stop and block you. People will try to stop and block you in celebrating yourself. And I have a prime example of it that happened to me. And I know we're celebrating women, but I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm an empathetic person to where I put myself in situations when I'm trying to encourage other people to let you know, okay, it's okay because it happened to us all. And so that's what I'm going to do here. But celebrate yourself and your growth at every single opportunity that you may have. Celebrate yourself at every single opportunity that you have. No matter how milestone, no matter how small the milestone it is. Celebrate yourself and your growth at every single opportunity. Let's take a quick break and I'll give y'all that. Um, uh, testimony and just- it's a road to empowerment week on the rh3 show the rh3 show is all new yes we're going to show love to the ladies we're going to help them feel empowered this week on the rh3 show join us as we break down each day of empowerment to our ladies, to the other half of our co-hosts, this week on the RS3 show, each day we're going to give an encouragement and an empowered topic for our ladies during our Real Talk with Rufus discussion. You don't want to miss it. Fellas, let's help us do that, all right? The RH3 Show. For more about the broadcast and info on how to listen or watch from where you are, please visit the RH3Show.com. <laughs> We're back, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're back, you all. We are back. We are back. We are big, 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 back, back, back. And we are on number of our self love simplified. We are on um um. Hold on a second. We are on number um. Um, let's see here, because I left off my page. Y'all, I love y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all for being who y'all are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are on number nine. Celebrate yourself and your growth at every opportunity. Okay. Um, let's see how many years ago this being. Six years ago. 
Um, I, I, I'm always been a person to celebrate myself, to celebrate others, you know, or whatever. Every year, every year. And, and we grew up, my mother, I, and I give it to her, you know, whether it just be us four, she invite our cousins to the house or whatever. But every year, you know, or whether we did it, you know, at school, she gave us a small birthday party um, or what have you. And, um, you know, we we've had our parties. And so, um, you know, I can I can remember her giving us uh, cupcakes to take to school. I can remember her, you know, just us having a little small party at home, barbecue at home. Um, you know, inviting the neighborhood children or whatever, you know, just whatever, just celebrating. And so as I gotten older, you know, it eased off, um, and, and, you know, whatever. And then when I got into my own self, I, I, whether I did a small, big or whatever, it kind of drifted off. And when I turned 33, I said, okay, well, uh, uh, prior to, I didn't have a 30th birthday, but I said, okay, and then I didn't have, you know, one for 31 or 32. And I said, okay, since I didn't have, you know, a party celebrating my 30th, I want to have, you know, a party celebrating 33rd birthday. Boom. Bet. Bow. Bow. Okay, um, I started planning it um, mid-32nd birthday. All right, here we go, planning it. You know, it's all coming to wraps, you know, this, that, and the third. And so, and so, um, once we were planning it, um, we, meaning the person I had, um, chose to host it. And, um, you know, we were planning it, you know, had the big shindig, you know, sat down. It was a sit down dinner, invited, you know, some important people in my life and, you know, class, old classmates and, you know, friends or whatever. Okay, come 34, no, didn't have one. I said, I'm going to have one every other year. 35th birthday, I said, okay, this is the middle of the 30s. Um, um, next one I'm going to have is when I turn 40. Ask the person who I wanted to host, the same person I wanted to host, would you mind hosting it again? Oh, you going to make me do that again? Oh no, 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 uh-uh, that crushed me, that crushed me, and I have not had no party since, I always wanted to celebrate myself, and, you know, whatever, in spite of, and even I said, even the little small stuff that, you know, that I do, this, the accomplishment, y'all, I, and it's, my, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, it may sound backwards, but I even celebrate, you know, weight loss. I mean, I, the small stuff, the small stuff, the small stuff, the small stuff, the small stuff. And so, yeah, celebrate yourself, celebrate yourself. Number, um, this next one, come comfort yourself when you're sad instead of blaming and shaming yourself comfort yourself when you are sad instead of blaming and shaming yourself and this is goes with you know whatever people say about you you know what you do this that and the third and y'all sorry about that i had a phone call i had to you know cancel it being that i was in the middle of a, you know this here and so i'll call them back at the next break um but yeah comfort yourself and my phone is next to the mic uh comfort yourself when you're sad instead of blaming and shaming yourself this could lead into depression so make sure you are confident yourself you are self-soothing yourself when you're down when you're upset when you're blaming yourself when you're sad when you're shaming yourself this that and the third or whatever that's going on with you mentally or whatever or whatever you're doing or if you done something wrong comfort yourself and just say okay you know i've done this wrong okay you know everything is going to be fine you know make sure you love yourself first make sure you point to yourself first before others do make sure you do that make sure you do that 
Don't allow somebody else to do it before you do it. <clears throat> Write down affirmations and put it on your on your you know your 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 frame. Get you a full body mirror. And put affirmations right around it or even in the facial part of it. And read those affirmations every morning. Comfort yourself when you're sad instead of shaming and blaming yourself. All right? Do that. Number 11. Don't settle for things you wouldn't want uh, loved ones to settle for. Of course. We're going to, you know, set, settling. That settling thing is who? You know, hey, don't settle for nothing less than your best. Don't settle for nothing less than, you know, if you don't like it, say you don't like it, put your foot down, boss queen it up. Look, even if you, you know, if somebody giving you half love, don't settle for that. Don't settle for that. If if that ain't what you want, okay, tell them, this is not what I want. I'm not settling for this. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. <clears throat> <clears throat> and my last point is listen to your body and mind when they tell you to slow down. Listen to your body and mind when they tell you to slow down. I can't too much say this because, um, um, I can't say this because, um, um, oh, my earpiece fell out. I can't say too much of this because I'm still working on this. But listen to your body and your mind when they tell you to slow down. Slow your tail down. Sit down somewhere. Get. <laughs> Y'all, my earpiece keep falling. Now, I got so, I got so, so, so small ears. My ears are so small. But, um, yeah, listen to your body and your mind when they tell you to slow down. Listen to your body and your mind when they tell you to slow down down all right listen to your body and your mind when they tell you to slow down and so that's the last point for uh this real talk with rufus discussion i'll be back to close out today's broadcast so keep it where you got it more of the rh3 show is coming up next all right bye <laughs> Bye. I keep you. I I'll talk to y'all in just a minute. Peace. Want to connect with me and go beyond the broadcast? Do so by following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Arts 3 Show. You can also watch us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. That's youtube.com forward slash I R E P A S A V I O R. Follow me on social media. Hi, it's the RH3 Show. Connect. The RH3 Show. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3Show.com. That was y'all, boy. Y'all heard before we went on commercial break. Bling Balls King and his birthday is coming up uh, on Monday. I. <laughs> but um i i'm back i told you guys uh, guys meaning the fellas that i was going to encourage you all and instill uh some things into you all so i want to um give you all some things that uh um um well first of all ladies in order i'll say this much in order for us to step up and do what we need to do. Now, I'm going to prerequisite this by saying this much. Those that are doing, those that are trying to do right. Not those that are um, knocking you upside your head each and every day. Not those men. Because these men are, you know... <clears throat> don't deserve nothing but you know to be out your life but these men that are actually trying 
actually trying, doing their very best. Let me take this necklace off. Actually trying to do their very best in their lives to be supportive men. Men need their woman to say, I am proud of you. I'm proud of you. Men need their woman to say, you are good at dot, dot, dot. You are good at, you know, uh, making repairs at the house. You're good at doing your part of the chores. You're good at, you know, uh, fixing at the car. You fix it on the car. You're good at, you know, da, 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 da. Whatever he's doing in the house, tell him that you're good at such and such. You're good at, you know, picking out our dates. You're good at this, that, and the third. Whatever. And in return, uh, you know, in follow-up, I'm thankful for such and such. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for that. Tell him that he's good at such and such and then thank him for doing such and such. Point blank, period. I And another thing, point four, bullet point number four. I appreciate you for whatever. I appreciate you for, you know, being a big supporter. I appreciate you for doing this. I appreciate you, you know, whatever. Pour back into him, ladies. Pour back into him and, you know, make him feel good about himself. And that good man will continue to do what he needs to do to continue to be poured into and continue to be, you know, whatever. Because my motto is, and if he's a good man, like, you know, I'm not on one to my own horn, but if he's a good man or type of a caliber that, you know, that I am, once he, you know, because there are certain men that, men that, you know, once they get poured into or whatever, they'll feed back out. And so he can't give out of an empty place. And so, also men need to hear that woman say, um, you are so fine. Compliment him, ladies. Compliment him. Make him feel good. And this is where I say, um, how you get them is how you keep them. I, I don't say that part much, but in letters to where, you know, women step out, men step out of their relationship. What, what in the relationship or what in the marriage or whatever could you could have done better to not have this is such and such step out. Maybe she, you know, made him feel good uh, uh, and, 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 you know, encourage him. Do not men and women do not give. Okay. You can, but it just depends. It just depends on how and in which way, but do not give another person of the opposite sex or whatever the opportunity to make your husband wife boyfriend or girlfriend extremely happy in a way to make them go outside the relationship if they continue to you know encourage and pour back into them and you don't he or she gonna like that one last point that men need their women to say is you look good. All right. Now, fellas, in return, your woman, and I hate that it's only four points, but your woman needs you to love her by leading her. Love her by leading her. Love her by being by leading her. Number two, love her daily. She questions love. She questions love. Make sure that she is the only one. The only one. Outside your mother. Outside your daughter. And of course your sons too. But mainly that only girl. Your daughter. You know. Outside your mother. Outside your daughter. You know. Whoever. But make sure she's the only one. You know. If it's if it's your girlfriend, make sure that your 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 mother and your daughter, of course, is ahead of her. But but if she's your wife, she's above your wife is above your mom and your daughter. Period. 
Number three, love her faithfully and be faithful. Love her faithfully and be faithful. Love her faithfully and be faithful. That's that's self-explanatory. And the last one, love her supportively and help her. All right, you all, that's all that I have time for on today's broadcast. As I said at the end of each broadcast, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and to love God, love yourself, and love other people. Beyond words, for more about The Arts 3 Show, you can visit our website at thearts3show.com. We're going to continue on with our Road to Empowerment Week this week uh, on tomorrow. I right, keep it where you got it. I. Right? I love you all, and I'll see you all on tomorrow. I'll talk to you. Peace. To the new man, from the old man into the new man, we made it from the old man into the new man, we made a new, new, and it's up, uh, uh, on, cause we've been given a new life, we're living in two Christ, and our sins are gone, 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 thank God that he heed the need to make us free indeed, now the world is what, 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 so now so never give his praise, I think it would take dead, but I'm not there for trying, 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 let the redeemed say so, remade it as him, and to fulfill God's way, so we can stand tall, and we will not sway, so the non-believers can look at our lives and take notes. Cause with the word redeemed, yo Waking up loud like a cappuccino I know what he done for me So I can get up and praise him To a world redeemed, yo I know I gotta raise That's from sin to the saint As winners we can't Live by the picture they paint Because they know They own the inner retain So we must live out our lives With a sense of restraint Which means Do I live and we ain't We are controlled by the flesh We're depicted in sway And pray without a quitter's complaint And being able to turn down Your dinner at eight Because the price that he paid for me Gave to me my freedom So I'm not in slavery Christ made a way for me Grace we didn't pay for me Your way back to God Through the life that he gave for me And make me able to switch Our lives were in darkness They came with a switch